We are. We are. Naugatuck High School's Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Class of 2020. A class that has persisted through the unthinkable and unbreakable. Our eyes have never witnessed the world before the war on terror. We have seen some of the deadliest weather phenomenons, tsunamis, earthquakes, hurricanes, and heat waves. We've hid under desks and tables and barricaded doors. We listened to the news echo Boston bombing. And we can only watch as oil spilled throughout our earth. We have seen SARS, Ebola, and now COVID-19. In the midst of this, we love to see the first published human genome draft. We've shared laughter and happiness through the rise of Snapchat. Instagram. Facebook. TikTok. YouTube. We've held the first iPhone. Inspired by Michael Phelps, Usain Bolt, and Serena Williams. We slipped our feet into checkered vans and into skinny jeans. Twiddles with fidget spinners. Screamed lyrics to High School Musical. And eventually rose to embrace our own versions of high school. We worked tirelessly, inside and outside school. Many of us played sports, participated in many clubs, had a job, and still kept up with our schoolwork. We gave hugs, high-fived, and cheered while winning NBL titles. We have shared tears and smiles after winning club and musical awards. We made friends that became family. We have made lifelong memories at Mountain High School. The class of 2020 had a lock in our freshman year. We spent the whole night in the school making memories of one another. We've talked about our hopes and dreams for the next four years. And how we will look back at this moment as we spend our last all nighted together during our grad night our senior year. Now our senior year has been cut short. We may never get to experience prom, grad night, senior trips, and graduation among our friends and family. We will not get the time back we should have spent in the halls, playing on the field, and performing with our friends for the very last time. We may never get to hear our names called at honors night or have our last sports season or concert. Nonetheless, through every hardship and success, we have gotten stronger. We are a family. We've stayed positive. We have grown. And we will continue to stay positive today and every day. Because if anyone can handle it, we can. can. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the lessons learned, games played, shows performed, friendships gained, and memories made. And for allowing us to see what's really important in the world. For showing us how to appreciate the little things and to treat every moment like it's our last. For showing us how to live in the moment and appreciate each other for showing us how to persevere, and for showing us that together, we can handle anything. Our story was not supposed to end this way, so we won't let it. This is just the beginning of our legacy. Each one of us will do great things. Each one of us will succeed. Because we are possible. We know how to push through the struggle. We are strong. We are fighters. We are resilient. We are united. We know how to come together to achieve success. Although walking the halls in Nogtuk High School again or wearing a cap and gown is unknown, we must stay positive as we're all in this together as Nogtuk High School class of 2020. Class of 2020. 2020. 2020. 2020. <laughs> Thank you.
Good evening and welcome to the family and friends of Naugatuck High School's class of 2020. I'm John Harris, principal, and it's my honor and privilege to be overseeing this evening's virtual ceremony. While none of us could have ever expected the events that have unfolded over the recent months, it is with immense pride that we celebrate the resilience, grit, and achievements of this graduating class. Class of 2020, while tonight's celebrations may be very different than what you had imagined, please know that your accomplishments and achievements have been made even more impressive by what you have overcome this spring. For our school and community, you have been and will forever be exemplars of what it means to pursue your excellence, what it means to be a greyhound, and what it means to be noggy strong. I would like to begin by asking that you please stand for the presentation of our nation's flag. Then please join the senior members of the Chamber Singers under the direction of Ms. Jennifer Fatone as they sing our national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, Tonight is the 120th commencement program of Naugatuck High School. To begin our ceremony, I would like to thank members of the community and school district who I know are joining us in this evening's celebration. It takes a village to raise a child and across Naugatuck tonight is a truly extraordinary village that's had a hand in raising each of our graduates. From the school system central office, Dr. Sharon Locke, superintendent, Mr. Christopher Montini, assistant superintendent, Mrs. Caroline Messenger, director of curriculum, Mrs. Nicole Reichert, Director of Special Services. Mrs. Ellen Ehrenheim, Assistant Director of Special Services. Mrs. Elizabeth Kennedy, Coordinator of Pupil Services. Mr. John Lawler, Director of Human Resources. Ms. Bernice Risk, our Business Manager. From the Board of Education, Mr. Pete Hess, Mayor. Mr. Jeffrey Lickey, Chairperson. Mr. Jason Salozzi, Vice Chair. Mr. Glenn Conan, Secretary. Mrs. Ethel Grant, Mrs. Diana Malone, Mrs. Dorothy Neth Coonan, Mrs. Marilyn O'Donnell, and Mr. James Scully. Thank you. I would also like to acknowledge the teachers, staff, and administrators from across the district who are viewing tonight's ceremony to honor our graduates. We know that the journey for these students did not begin nor will it end at the high school. Every adult in our schools, from our kindergarten classrooms up through the high school, have shared in our collective influences and have helped shape all of the fine young men and women graduating this evening. I would also like to thank our graduation directors, Michelle Russell and George McCary, and recognize other individuals who have worked to make this commencement ceremony a special event. These names are listed on your program. Thank you to all of our honored guests. Our welcoming speech this evening will be delivered by the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Ms. Jordan Hunt. Mayor Hess, Superintendent Locke, Assistant Superintendent Montini, Principal Harris, Deans Leary, Mariano, and Russell, Board of Education members, elected officials and dignitaries, teachers, staff, families, friends, and most importantly, fellow classmates. Welcome to Naugatuck High School's Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. As an underclassman, I've attended the past three graduations. I recall watching as the faculty marched the soon-to-be graduates onto the field to pomp and circumstance in front of their families, friends, and community. This is a tradition we all expected to experience. Yet this pandemic has taught us that nothing is guaranteed and life can change in an instant. What is expected and normal can be altered without warning, 
and when that happens, we must adapt and overcome. We must live each day to the fullest and take nothing for granted. And so today, while our ceremony certainly is not what we expected, we are truly grateful to still be together, even if from a distance, to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2020. We are grateful to the NHS administration, faculty and staff who have led by example to be innovators and problem solvers. They were determined to ensure that this day, this milestone in our lives did not go unnoticed. For the past 12 years from elementary to intermediate, from middle to high school, Nogatuck's administrators, teachers and staff have guided us. You welcomed us as kindergartners. You made us feel safe after Sandy Hook. You tolerated the crazy trends of silly bands and fidget spinners. You learned to decipher text messages and emojis and reminded us we cannot use them in formal papers. You adapted your way of teaching and instantly became distance learning experts. You found ways to still connect with us through Google Meets and Hangouts and surprise us all with senior yard signs. But most importantly, Naugatuck administrators, teachers, and staff have supported and inspired us. As the class of 2020 moves on to the next chapter of our lives, so will our superintendent, Sharon Locke, who will be retiring after six years leading our schools. The class of 2020 would like to thank you, Dr. Locke, for working tirelessly for our district and for all those school messenger snow day phone calls. We would also like to congratulate and send well wishes to Mrs. Mazzola, who is retiring from Naugatuck High School. The year would not be complete without a yearbook to capture all our memories throughout our high school career. So thank you to Ms. Gelino and the yearbook staff. And as seniors, we would like to take a moment to recognize our two dedicated class advisors, Mrs. Russell and Mrs. Mariano. These two teachers have been with us for the past four years, helping our class with everything from fundraisers to hallway decorating to prom and class events. We truly appreciate all you have done for us. We are grateful to our families for their constant love and support. We know that this pandemic has also been difficult for you as well. You've missed out on cheering us on during our last seasons of sports, watching our final high school concerts and performances, taking pictures of us at prom, and hearing our names read at honors night. Tonight, we recognize and celebrate our amazing families for helping us not only through these last few trying months, but for being constant sources of love and encouragement throughout our entire lives. You've taught us to be kind and compassionate young adults, and because of you, we are ready to meet any challenge that comes our way. While you cannot watch us walk across the stage to receive our diploma tonight, it is fitting that later in the ceremony, you will be handing us our diplomas at home. We are also grateful to the amazing Naugatuck community who has rallied in support of us throughout our entire educational journey. From the various parent groups and booster clubs who raise money for everything from field days and field trips during our elementary school days, to Mayor Hess working with our class to bring back the bon Thanksgiving bonfire tradition, to grad night, the grad night committee that has worked tirelessly to be sure that this tradition, although slightly altered, will continue. As soon to be graduates, the class of 2020 can be proud of all that we have overcome and accomplished. The memories made and challenges faced will forever shape us. To my classmates, I wish you all the best. Soon we'll be a part of a distinguished group known as Naugatuck High School alumni. Once a Greyhound, always a Greyhound. Thank you, Jordan. I would now like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Sharon Locke. To the resilient class of 2020, First, I want to thank you and your families for your understanding and partnership as we, have, as we have endured the COVID pandemic and school closure. I am truly saddened that we cannot be here together today for this momentous occasion. I would also like to thank the high school staff and administration who have ensured that you have been celebrated throughout our Naugatuck community during these final months of your senior year and who are determined to have an in-person celebration for you in July. You, the class of 2020, have continuously inspired me with your innovative approaches to stay connected during this difficult time. Unfortunately, your high school years have also come to an end with civil unrest in our country, caused by the sad reality that health, safety, prosperity, and, to, and prosperity are too often linked to the color of one's skin. With all that you have become from kindergarten through your senior year, I am hopeful that each of you will use that positive, resilient, and persistent Naugatuck grit 
to begin this next chapter. As you go out into the world and find your own purpose and happiness, we are counting on you to stay connected and work together to unite our country and advance our society so that it is right and just for every human. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am very proud of you. And now it is my distinct honor to introduce to you Mayor Pete Hess, who is also your biggest fan. Thank you. If I had to choose one word to describe the class of 2020, that word would be awesome. If I had to choose one phrase to describe the class of 2020, that phrase would be noggy strong. If I had to choose just one word to leave with you as my message as you move forward, that one word is resilience. Now I'm gonna talk about that a little later, but before we get to that, first of all, congratulations to the class of 2020. The word congratulations in and of itself doesn't do justice to what you've done. You've exceeded all of our expectations. You're truly awesome. You know, I, I feel a very close bond to your class. When you started as freshman, I started as a freshman mayor. So I got to see you grow. I got to see your academic progress. I got to see your progress in sports, your cultural pursuits, and I got to know a lot of you. And um, I really, really have strong feelings for your class. You'll always be remembered. Now, in sports, um, I got to observe the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. I would say that our victories succeeded our defeats, and I'm, I'm very happy and proud of that, but um, it was just great to watch. You know, all your cultural pursuits, your academic progress, it was just great. Now, I also got to see what may have been and what looks like it could be the end of your senior year under difficult circumstances. Notice I said, maybe the end. As far as I'm concerned, the actual ending is still in your hands and we have the ability to have the exact ending that you wanna have. We're having our virtual ceremony now. I understand you wanna have a live ceremony. Um, we don't know exactly how it's gonna go, what the rules are, they change all the time. But I can tell you this, I'll do everything in my power to give you exactly what your class collectively wants as a group. So let's just stay in touch about what you want. You know, I get suggestions all the time on social media, do this, do that, and that's great. But as far as I'm concerned, what we're gonna do is what you want. Your class officers get together, figure out what you want, and we will find a way to to make it happen. Now, if I had to choose just one memory from the class of 2020 that I will always carry with me, it's got, it has to be the bonfire in Thanksgiving last year. Um, your class is responsible for bringing that tradition back to Naugatuck. You know, the bonfire symbolizes Naugi pride. Well, Nagi Pride is now getting stronger and stronger in the concept of Nagi Strong. And I love the way that your class has, has developed that theme and expanded on it. Now, as you go forward in life, whether you go and further your education, whether you go into the military or into the workforce, you need to know one more thing. You need to know how to be Nagi smart. So what's Nagi smart? How do you define it? Well, Nagi smart is Nagi strong plus resilience. So you all know what Nagi strong is, you're, you're living it. What's resilience? 
Well, it's the ability to adapt to change. You know, there's a lot of change now in, in the world we're in, but you have to know how to adapt to that change. You have to know how to overcome obstacles. You have to know how to get back up after you've been knocked down. That's resilience. You know, Nelson Mandela, the great leader of South Africa said, do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I got knocked down and got back up. You know, in the end, many things seem like they're impossible. That is until they're done. So as you move forward, remember Noggy Pride, wherever you move to and live, we hope you'll come back here for Thanksgiving and more often. Remember to be Noggy Strong and remember to be Noggy Smart. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you, Mayor Hess. It's now my pleasure to introduce the class essayist of the class of 2020, Ms. Vicki Chen, to address the graduates. Four years ago, I would have never been able to make this speech because public speaking was one of my biggest fears. But now I've gained more confidence. So thank you to the teachers, staff, administration, and finally my fellow students who made these years everything that they were. Although I've only been in Nagatuk High School for two years, these two years were unbelie unbelievably memorable and life-changing. The moment I first stepped into Nagatuk High School, I realized that this school was completely different from what I've experienced. I've noticed that there's a security office right near the front entrance. I noticed the intricate designs of the ceiling. I noticed the childcare playground. And most of all, I noticed the incredible diversity that this school has. On my first day, a student led me on a school tour with every teacher and student that I met, greeting me with genuine smiles on their faces, welcoming me. Even the curriculum was different, with civic engagement and community service being a graduation requirement, leading to positive change for everyone involved. I've always been passionate about change and advocacy for inequality, so this requirement encouraged me to speak out about things I otherwise might not have. In light of advocacy, I would like to encourage everyone here to stay informed and updated of the current situation and the protests that are going on with Black Lives Matter movement and the murder of George Floyd. I would also encourage everyone to keep an open mind because there are truths and biases to everything. Speak out against social injustices. We are the class of 2020, the ones who were born after 9-11, the ones who witnessed the 2008 recession, the ones who lived through the SARS epidemic, and the ones who are now going through the COVID-19 pandemic. We are the ones who witnessed the 2017 Women's Rights March and now the 2020 Black Lives Matter protests. We are the graduates of the 21st century and we are the generation of change. We are the only ones that can control our future. No matter if it's finding out the cure for cancer or making new technological in innovations, it's up to us to make that happen. Here's a quote by Kerry Washington. Your life is your story, and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your pur own purpose and potential. We are all about to set off on our own paths, so let us all make mistakes and learn from them. Thank you all again, and congratulations. Thank you, Vicki. We will now present awards and scholarships to our graduates. This evening, we will present over $20,000 in awards. We sincerely appreciate the generosity of the Anna B. Hopkins, Victor Peterson, Emil Manweiler, Howard Tuttle, and Julia S. Whittemore Trust Funds, which provide us with these awards. Through the generosity of many others, we also presented more than $90,000 in scholarships throughout the spring, and we have listed these awards in your program. To present the awards to the top 10 students in the class of 2020, I would like to introduce the chairman of the Board of Education, Mr. Jeff Lickey. Class of 2020, first off, congratulations. You should all be incredibly proud of yourselves as you are now high school graduates that are ready to take on the world and whatever may come your way. These past few months have not been easy on any of us, let alone seniors that are preparing to graduate and face the next chapter of their young lives. But you all have taken these last few months and made the most of them. You have excelled with distance learning, found ways to give back to your community, and came up with new and creative ways to stay in touch with each other. For that, you should be commended for taking a bad situation and making the most of it. Right now, I know that you're missing your friends, classmates, and teachers, and this is not the way that you or anyone could have imagined that your high school careers would end. You should all be able to hold your heads up high and be proud of your accomplishment. 
High school is only a chapter in the story of your life, and you all have a story to keep on living. Your high school careers and graduation are not just about the last few months, but they are the past 13 years of learning and memories made. I hope that you take what has occurred over the course of the past few months and learn from that and let it show you how quickly the world can change. I hope that you all know that your actions can lead to change, and I hope that you use your actions to, to contribute to change for the good. No matter where the next chapter may take you, I hope that you all follow your dreams, take chances, and experience new things. You, the class of 2020, are the next teachers, doctors, lawyers, business owners, nurses, construction workers, engineers, or whatever profession you choose. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. I want to leave you with this quote from former President Barack Obama. Don't just get involved. Fight for your seat at the table. Better yet, fight for a seat at the head of the table. I wish you all the best in where life takes you and know that we are all greyhounds and are always here to support each other. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am now pleased to announce the awards to the top scholars of the class of 2020. To the valedictorian of the class, Haley Russell, we present the following $2,605 from the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund and the Manweiler Award for $958. To the salutatorian of the class, Jordan Hunt, we present the following, $2,000 from the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund, $650 from the Anna B. Hopkins Fund, and the Manweiler Award for $719. To the class essayist, Vicki Chen, we present the following, the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund in the amount of $2,000, $400 from the Anna B. Hopkins Fund, and the Manweiler Award for $956. To Randy Yu, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $1,500 and the Manweiler Award for $966. To Lauren Rupsis, we present the Whittemore Award in the amount of $2,180. To Anson Lau, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $1,000, the Hopkins Award for $500, and the Tuttle Award for $371. To Michaela Williams, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $800, the Hopkins Award for $500, and the Manweiler Award for $479. To Gabrielle Cantoni, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $800, the Hopkins Award for $500, and the Tuttle Award for $350. To Ryan McGuire, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $800 and the Hopkins Award for $475. To Andre Sweet, we present the Naugatuck High School Scholarship Fund Award in the amount of $800 and the Hopkins Award for $475. Thank you, Mr. Litke. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Michelle Russell, Dean of Students and co-advisor of the class of 2020 to present some additional recognitions. Approximately 100 students are being awarded with the Principal's Medal tonight. There are too many to name individually, but there is a designation next to their name in the program. These students have gone through their entire career at Northern High School as role models for doing things right way. Right stands for responsibility, integrity, generosity, helpfulness, and tolerance. That is quite an accomplishment and one worth recognizing. The faculty and administration are proud of them. Every day they came to school and did the right thing. They all deserve this recognition. In addition, your programs denote students who are being awarded with the Community Service Medal. Although our graduation requirement is 25 hours of community service, these students have performed at least 100 hours of service during their time at NHS. The class of 2020 has made incredible contributions to our community, our state, and our nation. There is a designation in the program next to their names, and these students who have embodied responsible citizenship deserve our thanks. Also in your program, we have noted the students who are members of the National Honor Society. Finally, I would like to recognize the officers of the class of 2020 for their dedication and service to their classmates. President Haley Russell, Vice President Jordan Hunt, Secretary Lauren Rupsis, Treasurer Brandon Sabanareth, Alicia Kakasi, Class Representatives Sydney O'Donnell, 
Alisa McNeil. Historian, Caitlin Doris. Publicity, Molly Canelli, Megan Corwatney. Chairman of Fundraising, Devin Giovi. Prom Chair, Brielle Bohuniak. Homeroom Reps, Nicholas De Silva, Derek Jagello, Michaela Williams, Dante Miranda, and Sarah Tarmi. Congratulations to all. Thank you, Mrs. Russell. Our final recognition this evening is for students who have been awarded the seal of biliteracy on their diplomas. This seal, sanctioned by the state of Connecticut, certifies that a student has attained literacy in English by completing four credits at NHS and in at least one other language as demonstrated on an internationally benchmarked test. Please join me in recognizing and congratulating the following students. Earning the seal of biliteracy in Chinese, Randy Yu. Earning the seal of biliteracy in Portuguese, Brian de Cruz, Joao Guimarães, Lucas Silva, Michaela Santos, Moises Baradas, Alice Pereira, and Maria Zuna. Earning the seal of biliteracy in Arabic, Omar Musaid. And earning the seal of biliteracy in Spanish, Paulina Andrade, Ayana Ben Cosme, Nelson Lavora, Saul Pujols, Emily Sarmiento, Brendan Subanarath, Maria Zuna, Willie Andrade, Gabrielle Cantoni, Magdalene Hamed, Hennessy Hernandez, Alice Pereira, Christina Rego, and Andre Sweet. Next, I would like to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Ms. Haley Russell, to deliver her address. I want to thank all of the teachers, staff, administrators, parents, and community members who helped to make this last semester one to remember given the circumstances in the world today. The lawn signs, scholarship stickers, and parades were all something that we cannot thank you enough for. Not to mention, I want to thank all of the individuals who were able to make this virtual graduation happen and to all of the people who continue to work hard trying to put together a live ceremony for us in July. You have shown your devotion and support to this class throughout it all. To the class of 2020, it seems like just yesterday we were young freshmen entering our newly renovated high school with such high hopes for the next four years. We learned the ways of the school and were tricked by seniors into thinking there was a third floor. In our sophomore year, we celebrated our ring dance and continued to feel excited about what was to come. We powered through SAT's junior year and soon realized how close we were to the end. And now here we are, four short years later, with 11 NVL championships, 10 plus DECA state titles, and numerous marching band awards under our belt, and the first Nagi class to hold a virtual graduation because we are going through a global pandemic. Who saw this coming? I am so fortunate to have the opportunity to speak in front of you today, and I want to use this time to discuss something that is important to me and symbolic to our class, resilience. Resilience is defined as the capacity to cover quickly from difficulties. It is getting back up after a fall, not dwelling on a tough loss, and learning how to overcome obstacles. In class of 2020, that is what I'm asking you to do today and every day, to be resilient, like each one of us has been doing for weeks. It's crazy to think that a couple of months ago, everything was normal. We were all buying prom dresses, committing to colleges, and applying for scholarships. Yet now, a few months later, we are all trapped inside our homes, facing something unimaginable. Yet we have adjusted. We have fallen but risen again, and we did not let this virus define our senior year. We found success from our living rooms, bedrooms, and kitchens, despite this pandemic. We came together as a class to make a senior video and continue to stay in touch throughout social media and car hangouts, because that is who we are, the class of 2020. We do not just sit back and watch the world as we know it crumble before our eyes. We push through adversity and exemplify resilience. Now is the time more than ever that we need this resilience. This pandemic has taught us to get back up quickly and fight for what we believe in. We need to unify, six feet apart, of course, and as Gandhi once said, be the change we want to see in the world. We are the future doctors, lawyers, activists, teachers, and coaches of this generation, so it is up to us to make meaning in this world, to push through the struggle, to never give up and to be that change. We are the generation that can use social media and our platforms to voice our passions and allow our passions to become realities. We will be the generation that combats climate change and stands up against racial inequality. Our world needs us now more than ever and it is up to us to let our voices be heard.
Class of 2020, this is just the beginning of our legacy. And as Mo Michelle Obama said, every day you have the power to choose our better history by opening your hearts and minds, by speaking up for what is right. Class of 2020, whatever you see is right, do not be afraid to address it. And if you fail the first time, get back up and try again. We are the future and it is up to us to speak up for what really matters. Class of 2020, we are going to be in history books one day because although our senior year did not turn out as planned, we are stronger for it. We push through the struggle. We continue to be strong. Even though we cannot physically be next to each other, getting our diplomas, taking pictures at plot, prom, applauding each other during honors night, or winning the tug of war game at the senior picnic, we are still a family and we will continue to be one even after we say our goodbyes. Nogtuck High School, thank you for being our home for the past four years. We will forever be Greyhounds. It has been an amazing journey and I am so excited to see where each of us ends up. We're all going to make our mark because we are the strong, unified, and resilient class of 2020 and the world expects nothing less thank you thank you Haley now the moment we've all been waiting for the awarding of the diplomas the academic records of the class of 2020 have been examined and have met the requirements for graduation set forth by the Naugatuck Board of Education we will now call the roll of graduates in addition to the names we will announce each graduates post-secondary plans names will be read by our deans of students Mr. James Leary Mr. Brian Mariano and Mrs. Michelle Russell Parents and family, we hope that as your student's name is read, that you confer the diploma to your student as a recognition of all of your efforts that have contributed to this moment. After giving the diplomas, we invite you to take photographs with your graduates and post them in the comments of the live stream. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James Leary, and I'm one of the deans of student life at Naugatuck High School. And it is my honor to read the names of the candidates for graduation from Naugatuck High School's class of 2020. Daniela Acevedo. Syed Ahmad. Amarion Akinsanya. Hector Alejandro. Valentin Alejo. Aiden Alexander. Joel Alexander. Ahmad Almatari, Lila Alvarez, Joseph Amato, Janil Amoko, Yana Marie Anchetta, Destinice Anderson, Paulina Andrade, Willie Andrade, Mia Andriozzi, Andrea Arango, Anthony Ayala, Moises Baradas, Riley Barrett, Omar Batista Tavares, Brielle Bahuniak, Connor Bahuniak, Ayana Bencosme, Vincent Biancarelli, Sadie Boisvert, Alyssa Bowes, John Brazil, Hunter Brooks, Danae Brown, London Berger, Sarah Bercy, Joseph Buss, Alicia Cacase, Gabrielle Cantoni, Sophia Capitaferro, Kyle Carey, Felix Carrillo, Matthew Carroll, Antonio Paulo Carvalho, Nathan Carver, Julia Castillo, Bryce Sajelski, Bailey Syriac, Alexis Chacon, Dorian Chapman, Vicky Chen, Devin Cochran, Dana Lee Cologne, Anna Conforti, 
Emily Coppola, Renali Cordero Jimenez, Michael Cordova, LaDominique Crespo, Austin Crocker, Zach Crosswait, Leanna Cruz, Paige Cruz, Christian Kerr, Spencer Curtis, Brian DeCruz, Christopher Damasina, Samuel Daniel, Nicholas De Silva, Matthew Day, Olivia DeAngelis, Nathan Delaney, Daniel DePinho, Joshua Disrosiers, Kaylina DeVincentis, Amanda Dennis, Tobias Dippelhofer, Dominic Dombrowski, Nathan Denasimento, Katie Doris, Ryan Dos Santos, Sean Doxey, Troy Dumas, Riley Duke, Adanya Zemilovska, Kiwan Edwards Garris, Michael Ells, James Fay, Paige Fizikas, Yiliana Figueroa, Kyle Francisco, Philip Gallant, Finbar Galvin, Alexis Garcia, Antonio Garcia, Eduardo Garcia, Malachi Gaddison, Dustin Gendron, Beatrice Giancante, Devin Giove, Joseph Graylick, David Green, Madison Guerrera, Joao Guimaraj, John Hall, Magdalene Hamed, Mark Hansen, Kaylee Hawks, Cassidy Healy, Hennessy Hernandez, Jade Hernandez, Brendan Hickey, Andrew Heine, Gabriel Hinnant, Rachel Huckulak, Jordan Hunt, Jacob C. Hutt, Riley Hines, Barrett M. Ilunga, Christopher Jackson, Derek Jagello, Nicholas Jennings, Jacqueline Jimenez, Anthony Johnson, Jerry Johnson, Michael Jolly, Shamai Jones, Jacob Kalinowski, Damon Preet Cower, Ben Keller, Molly Canelli, Elizabeth Kilmer, Antoine Kizzy, Dante Knotts, Nicholas Konitsky, Megan Karawatny, Lucas Cosma, Elizabeth Cruz, Ian Culeza, Jamie Lamoureux, Christopher Langless, Mitchell Langless, Aaron Lapham, Abby Larickia, Kaylee Larkin, Joshua Lastra, Anson Lau, Nelson Lavora, 
Abby Lawson, Rebecca Lee, Chavez Lewis, Jesse Lodge, Abigail Lombardi, Fred Longo, Justin Loper, Anthony Lopes, Ethan James Lopes, Alondra Lopez Nunez, Olivia Laughlin, Taina Lugo, Jonah Leiden, Adam Lyons, Aubrey Lyons. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Brian Mariano, the other Dean of Student Life at Naugatuck High School to complete the list of graduation candidates. Joseph McCary, Lindsay Macbeth, Ryan McGuire, Cheyenne Megora, Spencer Marr, Mary Malik, Sydney Mam, Alex Manaseo, Charlie Morangi, Amber Markovic, Destiny Marks, Paul Marsh, Victoria Martinez, Ryan McCarthy, Madison McEachern, Alyssa McNeil, Jonathan McPhail, Michael Medley, Kiara Melendez, Didier Mercado Negron, Jay Mezzo, Devin Michaud, Devin Millette, Dante Miranda, Joseph Miranda, Edgar Morales, Adriana Moreno, Sarah Mulligan, Jake Murphy, Ayana A. Murray, Omar Musayed, Cassandra Napoli, Kylie Niritich, Tyler Nixon, Cole Novak, Ian Noons, Princess Nyathi, Sydney O'Donnell, Joshua Oakley, Colleen Olick, Caleb Anafrio Brannon, Crystal Ortiz Swignolio, Samantha Ottawell, Noemi Padro, Priya Patel, Matthew Patino, Antonio Paulo, Bianca Penzero, Caroline Pepin, Alice Pereira, Victorio Perez, Ethan Fanoff, Philip Finneth, Christina Pinto, Alex Pitt, Haley Pahorance, Nathan Pasca, Travis Pointer, Saul Pujols, Nathaniel Quinones, Lauren Quarles, Mohammed Ramzine, Emily Redente, Christina Rago, Christopher Rios, Carlos Rivera, Jasmine Rivera, Caitlin Roberts, Rosario Rosalie, Max Ruperti, 
Lauren Rupsis, Haley Russell, Aviana Sages, Brianna Salome, Manuela Sam, Morgan Sanford, Leilani Santana, Michaela Santos, Emily Sarmiento, Loretta Spot, Jeffrey Chabelle, Haley Schiappa, Lindsay Schulte, Logan Schultz, Kaya Schwartz, Jeremiah Scott, Micaiah Scott, Sebastian Scully, Cassidy Saylor, Josiah Shiggs, Brian Silva, Bruno Silva, Lucas Silva, Jacob Skiptunis, Akeem Smith, Xavier Smith, Sarah Sukram, Brendan Sabanarath, Colin Sousa, Mariah Spina, Nicholas Stefan, Leticiana Stoudemire, Jaden Strickland, Andre Sweet, Edina Sanislo, Sana Tariq, Sarah Tarmi, Matthew Texera, Jacob Thompson, Olivia Tigliero, Hator Tomas, Ava Torello, Alvin Torres, Hannah Torres, Jaden Torres, Joshua Trabka, Autumn Travis, Joshua Trebanis, Hervé Tishibamba, Isabella Wagen, Jeffrey Valois, Jonathan Vargas, Javier Vasquez, Rachel Vile, Melanie Vieira, Jose Villafane, Christopher Volp, Haley Walker, Jordan Wall, Michael Watford, Zachary Wheeler, Dashane Williams, Faith Williams, Isaiah Williams, Michaela Williams, Destiny M. Willoughby, Stephanie Wooten, Levi Wright, Lake Youngblood, Randy Yu, Caitlin Zarella, Kasim Zia, Maria V. Zuna. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Students in the class of 2020 were invited to submit farewell speeches to be read during tonight's ceremony. And this year, that privilege goes to Michaela Williams. Hello, class of 2020. We've been through a lot to get here, haven't we? It all started with the Coxsackie outbreak in the fall of our freshman year. And then snowstorms, Tripoli, tornadoes, and last but not least, this pandemic. Every show must come to an end. Apparently we needed a good finale. Is the show must go on or the show must go wrong? Anywho, I would like to start by thanking all the people that have helped us arrive at this moment. So shout out to my parents and family and to your parents and family. And to every teacher, coach, staff member, and anyone in between that has helped us get to this point. We owe them a debt of gratitude. 
But there is someone else we often forget to thank, and that's ourselves. We're told to be proud of ourselves for working hard for the last four, four, well, really 12 years of our lives. But it's a lot harder than it seems. It's easy to write a thank you note to a teacher, but it's a lot harder to stand in front of the mirror and thank yourself. It's hard, but at the end of the day, that's who got you here. It was you that chose to get out of bed every day. It was you that chose to go to practice every day. It was you that chose to apply for that job. And it was you that chose to kick Google Classroom even when all you really wanted to do was forget about school. And it was you that chose to put in the work in every aspect of your life. It was the work that we put in that helped to bring home NBL titles, carry us to national championships, and bring home awards on every level, and even to become essential workers in this time of crisis. It's about showing up and turning out, something I've seen from all of you for the last four years. Now, of course, I have to shamelessly brag about something that I was a part of. So I'm gonna pick track. Track and field is not an easy sport. I would know, I've been on the team for four years, but I'm still not good at it. But over those four years, our team has won few NBL titles and countless individual medals, and likely would have been on our way to win more this spring. This is the result of putting in the work, proof of Coach Roper's quote, that what you do in the dark shall come to light. We have chosen to show up to practice every day, run, run until you feel like you can't, and then run a little bit more. Well, actually not me, because I was a thrower. But like everyone else, I did sacrifice my Saturdays, my Tuesdays, and basically the rest of the week in the name of track and field. And although we may have complained about sitting at indoor meets for 12 hours, we kept putting in the work because aiming for that goal at the end makes it all worth it. All the ups and downs from the injuries jamming up coaches' operation to the moment where we finally convinced them to stop at five guys. And our last big win, waking up the entire town of Naugatuck on the way home from indoor NBLs. The successes of our team could not have been done without the help of every senior on the team. I'm not going to list all of you because I'll probably miss one and then I'd feel bad. But you know who you are. I'm so proud to have been part of a team with so many amazing people, full of school record breakers, those going on to run track in college, those who battled over and over at NBLs and states, and those who kept pushing even when you felt like throwing in the towel. You guys helped make my experience great, and I'm eternally grateful. My experience is one of many where our dedication has put us on the road for success, reminding us why we should remember to celebrate ourselves and our accomplishments. Our senior year ended far differently than what we would have liked. We got birthday parades instead of prom. And instead of our senior sports seasons, we got extra time to play Wii Sports. I'm not going to tell you that this is our defining moment, because you already know that. And you also heard it from LeBron and Obama and the Jonas Brothers. So I'm not as exciting as any of them. I'm not going to tell you again. What I will say is that although it is hard not to get to the iconic moments of our senior year, I want you to remember the many more we have had over the last four years. I want you to look back on the triumphs you've had. Those are the moments that have made it worth it. Those are the moments that have proved that all the hard work and the struggle pays off. And although we may not have gotten as many more of them as we hoped, I want to remind you to look back on those and look forward to the many more to come. Our next stage of life could be intimidating. We have to go out and face the real world, as they call it. We are far more ready than we might believe. Of course, there's a lot more to learn, and we'll all struggle, but we'll get through it. Unlike those tennis courts over there, we will not blow down in the face of G-Force winds. We will get back up when we've been knocked down. We've been building our strength to this point, and it has been tested, probably more than we have liked in the last few months. And as we move on to the next chapter of life, whether that is college, the workforce, the military, or anything in between, we're ready to take it on. We've proven our worth, and we've proven our grit. Remember how much you've overcome to get to this point. Remember that. It, remember to thank yourself. You did it. I want you to look in the mirror and truly feel proud of yourself. You deserve it. No matter what road you find yourself on, I want you to remember to be proud of every success and joy that life brings you. I want to leave you with the quote from the song, Congratulations. No, not Post Malone, but rather Drake. And the visual is stunning. I hope they document what you're becoming. Congratulations. Thank you, Michaela. At this time, I'd like to invite the secretary of the class of 2019, Ms. Lauren Rupsis, to address the class. Nogtuck High School, class of 2020. It is an honor to be speaking in front of you today, even if it is through a screen. It has been such an amazing privilege to go to school with each and every one of you, with your unique personalities and assets. I hope that you are proud of yourselves for all of your accomplishments 
Congrats, you made it. I truly cannot believe this day has finally come, our graduation. We have worked so incredibly hard for this moment and suddenly it is here. The 720 day book coming to a close. Many of us have literally watched each other grow up. We learned how to read and write beside one another in elementary school and went through the awkward preteen stages together in intermediate school. We felt grown up as we went through middle school together since we finally got to be a part of school sports teams and got to dress up for social. For me, it feels like just yesterday we walked into Nogtuck High School as students for the very first time. We were surrounded by so many upperclassmen and got lost just trying to find our homerooms. From the first day of high school, I don't think we realized that this was the introduction to a story of some of the best years of our lives. Through our four years, we have made so many lifelong memories and experienced so many great times together. We made new friends, joined many different clubs, played sports, put together shows and perfor performances, grew close to many teachers and staff members, won NVL championships and music championships, went to dances, won numerous honors, and all while still working hard and learning new things inside and outside of the classroom. We pushed through many hardships and struggles as a class, including adapting to distance learning during the global pandemic that has recently occurred. Many people would say that I'm relatively quiet in school, but when you're quiet, you take more time to observe, and I have loved watching all of us evolve and grow into strong, hardworking young adults. I loved growing up beside such admirable people and people that have changed my life for the better. And I hope to continue to watch you all as you achieve success in your next story. All of us are so unique and have such great potential to offer to the world. I hope that each of you do not shy away from your dreams. I hope that the future offers you endless opportunities as well as a lifetime of success and happiness. I hope that you know that you won't always succeed at first, but I hope you continue to be resilient as you have proven you can be at NHS. I hope you know that you don't need to have your whole life figured out right now. You can figure out how to write your story as you turn the pages. I feel lucky to have had something that makes saying goodbye so difficult. I believe that a good book is one that alters the way you live in some way and or changes how you perceive the world. This 720 page book and all the characters that were in it did that for me. And I hope it did that for many of you as well. Thank you for all playing such an important role in my story. And I can't wait to read all of your sequels as you go off in the future and do so many great things. Of course, ending a really good book is always bittersweet or a good Netflix show if that's more relatable to you. Closing this segment of our lives may be a bit sad and even a little bit scary. However, remember that this is all a part of the journey. I hope that you keep the memories and things you learned at NHS close to your heart. And also remember the classmates and staff members who helped shape who you are. Remember that when you come home, your Naugatuck family will always be here for you and support you. Once a Greyhound, always a Greyhound. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Students, as we conclude this evening's ceremony and as you leave Naugatuck High School in your next pursuit of excellence, I wish to leave you with some words from Theodore Roosevelt. As you face the challenges that come in the next part of your life's journey, remember that it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the one who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, who does actually strive to do great deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, great devotions, who spends themselves in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory or defeat. Class of 2020, as you always have, may you continue to always dare greatly. At this time, I will ask the members of the graduating class of 2020 to stand for the conferring of the diplomas. Class of 2020, you have pursued your excellence with grit and determination. By the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut, 
I hereby confer upon you a Naugatuck High School diploma on this 11th day of June in the year 2020. Haley, Jordan, Vicki, Lauren, and Michaela, please lead us in the turning of the tassels. You are now graduates of Naugatuck High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest class of Naugatuck High School graduates, the class of 2020. Please join me in congratulating them. Graduates, please know how incredibly proud we are. Your accomplishments this spring have been truly historic. We can't wait to celebrate you in person on July 24th. Thank you to Lila Alvarez for the performance, which will play out tonight's live stream. Cheers to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories bring back you There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain when I believed in forever And everything would stay the same Now my heart feel like December Would somebody say your name? Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day, yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday, hey, hey. But everything gon' be alright Go and raise a glass and say, hey Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you do 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 Memories bring back, memories bring back you there's a time that I remember When I never felt so lost When I felt all of the hatred It was too powerful to stop Now my heart feel like an ember And it's lighting up the dark I'll carry these torches for ya That you know I'll never drop, yeah Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday, yeah but everything gon' be alright Go and raise a glass and say, hey Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not cause the drinks bring back All the memories of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you Memories bring back, memories bring back you Memories bring back, memories bring back you Memories bring back, memories bring back you